So for our road to compliance, really in 2019, if we if we scale it back, um, at that point in time, really we just needed a system that would be able to allow us to be in compliance with both reporting standards in order to ensure that we had accurate calculations and we had accurate disclosures under both US GAAP and IRFRS. We wanted to minimize the manual interaction between the lease schedules that we were maintaining in Excel versus having a one-stop shop in integration into SAP. We also wanted to allow visibility from not only an accounting perspective, but also an operational perspective so that we could have um, a system that is a one source for all regions so that we can easily then see contracts across all of, our, all of the different companies. In the past, each region basically managed their lease portfolio in isolation and would send spreadsheets on a quarterly basis in order for us to maintain historical reporting disclosures. Now we're able to look across regions from one platform. And then the last piece is really just being able, on, on a reporting perspective, being able for us to have disclosures at our um, at the forefront, really from Q1 reporting going forward, that were easy to, to pull the data, easy to report on, as opposed to compiling everything manual as we had in the past. So really 2019 was just ensuring that we had a system in place to support both accounting needs and operational needs.